Well, this week's been a little bit different for me. Uh, instead of building something in the wood shop, I've been up in Massachusetts shooting video of my friend Francis Cunningham, who's just a really fantastic painter with a long history in the arts. He was a student of Edwin Dickinson, and I was fortunate enough to meet him about 15 years ago. And so I want to tell the story about his life as an American artist. Uh, but while I'm up here, I thought it would be fun to take a walk uh, around his studio and look inside his summer studio, which is an old reclaimed post and beam barn. Before we go inside the barn, I thought I would point out the siding. Uh, this siding is called board and batten siding. And uh, you know, his name is Francis Cunningham, but I know him as Dick Cunningham. And anybody who's known him always knows him as Dick Cunningham. So anyway, uh, Dick and Floyd Woodbeck cut these pine boards out of the pines in the back. And uh, then they put these up and this is what's called, you have a board, you have a seam, and then you have a batten to cover the seam. And there's a little space in between the two boards for expansion and contraction. And this is, of course, the fireplace inside the barn. And these stones were gathered from the land around the property. Now we'll take a walk upstairs to the studio. And I'll swing the camera around to get a closer look at some of the beams. Well, I wanted to point out that big lap joint right in the center of the barn. You can see the big pegs that are pounded through the joint. And if I widen the angle, you can see the post in the center. And of course behind it is that chimney that I pointed out earlier. Now we're up in the studio and this is where Dick spends most of his time in the summer. If we look outside, you can see it's a northern light. And if the camera adjusts, you can see the apple trees, hemlock, and some of the pines. Now this is obviously a landscape painting that has been drawn out on the canvas. And if we look underneath it, you can see all of the stretchers, all the stretcher boards. And if you're more interested in furniture, check out the size of this beam. I'm going to bring the camera closer because there's a really cool locking tenon that joins this pine shelf, bench, whatever you want to call it, together. This is the locking tenon that I was talking about. And I noticed it immediately. And I just think that that makes the structure of this bench uh, this bench just just such a beautiful thing there's the man himself what do you got i've got all kinds of things to eat pears. apples pears that's that's a daily apple that's for you and i get some more pears and the more pears down we should go with the bag and we should harvest. let's take a let's like you know i'm going to photograph those tools look and then we'll look at this that's beautiful see i want to take some of these home to paint yeah well, let's go down. Let's All go right, down. let's go. Okay, well, I feel like we've seen enough of the studio. I just wanted to show you these tools because I just think they're beautiful. Uh, but now what we're going to do is, is go down into, is it the pasture? Or the orchard. The orchard. And uh, take a look at some of these apples and the pears. Mm -hmm. I was reading this interview on Pollock and Hoffman 
and Hoffman says to Pollock that you're not painting from nature and because you're not painting from nature you'll repeat yourself uh, but anyway what are your thoughts on uh, abstraction and nature and its endlessness well Pollock lived down the road from Sherry Lord Sheridan Lord in Sagaponic and Sheridan Lord regarded Jackson Pollock as his elder brother he felt really close to Jackson Pollock and I remember at one point and, and nobody could be, uh, be more superbly you might say in the f full meaning of the word a realist and not a copyist than, than Sheridan Lord and one time Jackson Pollock was over there. Always Jackson Pollock was always, I think, helpful to, Sh to Sherry in a very different, totally different mode of painting. And, and uh, at one point, there was, Sherry had a bowl of pears. And uh, Jackson Pollock said, I'd, res I'd rather look at them than paint them. Doesn't mean he didn't look at them. He did what he did. Well, I guess I'm done showing you around the studio because now we're going to start picking some pears. Uh, when the video is done that I'm making, uh, I'll put a link on the screen. I think you'll enjoy it. Please check it out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.